PSG are arguably the strongest club on FIFA 19. While Neymar, and Mbappe and Cavani are the obvious draw, the French champions are blessed with an immensely well-rounded squad. In this video, we're going to explain how to get the very best out of the Ligue 1 giants, from formation tweaks to player instructions and even how to play with them. We've got you covered. Welcome to BR's FIFA Tutorials. When setting your formation, it's incredibly important to make sure PSG's powerful attacking players are in positions that elevate their game. Mbappe started life on FIFA 19 as a winger, but he is unsurprisingly one of the deadliest strikers available. Make sure he is up front in a 4-2-2-2 formation, as his runs are key to catching out the opposition's defence. Having two wide players is pivotal in FIFA's current state. Although Neymar and Di Maria are technically in attacking midfield positions, you could easily dribble into dangerous crossing positions with both. By having the pair slightly narrower than in a 4-4-2, you're also opening up their ability to hit finesse shots from the edge of the penalty area. Marquinhos and Verratti are an excellent duo in defensive midfield, especially when combined with the work rates of Compembe and Silva behind them. Although PSG have more explosive fullbacks than Bernat and Mernier, they provide the greatest balance in this setup. Plus, Alves and Kozawa offer incisive pace from the bench should you need it late in a match. Before we move on to customising the formation, make sure Kozawa and Rabio are among your subs. Both are often placed in the reserves if they haven't been used in the latest real-life squad. Width and depth should both be set to 6, which will push the team slightly deeper than FIFA's default setting for them. If you leave the depth higher, you'll be exposed to fast counter-attacks, especially as the press is applied when you lose the ball. Possession is the best offensive style you can use with this team. Players will support each other by looking for space. This will allow you to maintain the structure of the formation and, as we'll discuss later, burst forwards at the right time. Your attacking width should be slightly narrower than the defensive setup, so place it down to the middle on five. This will bring Neymar and Mbappe closer together, allowing for some sharp interchanges and more opportunities to play one-twos that tear open the defense. By default, PSG push a lot of players into the box when crosses arrive, but this isn't needed. You'll be massively exposed if the defence clears, so lower the bar to four, as Cavani and Mbappe are all you will need to take advantage. Corners and free kicks work perfectly on three bars each, but lower both to two if you're feeling vulnerable to a fast break. Once tactics are set, it's now time to choose player instructions that complement the style. Mbappe should be set to stay central and get in behind, which will see him ready to receive through balls by sprinting beyond the defence. Cavani should also be set to stay central, but make sure his attacking runs are mixed. His high work rates play a vital part in dropping short to receive possession. Neymar takes on the most important role behind the strikers. Set his positioning freedom to free roam and leave the rest to default. His high attacking positional stat will see him naturally pick smart pockets of space. Of course, his dribbling and agility is among the best in the game, so he becomes really difficult to pin down if he's allowed to roam. Di Maria should be played more rigidly, but do look to cut inside with him. His left foot coming in from the right wing is a prime candidate for unleashing a timed finesse shot right into the back of the net. Both defensive midfielders need to be set to stay back while attacking, and both fullbacks should start on balanced settings. If you're finding a space down the wings to exploit, Alves and Kazawa are better options to do so from the bench. If you do bring them in, leave them both on balanced settings as their low defensive work rates means they will get forward without necessarily needing to be told. It is particularly important to make sure Compembe isn't being exposed by an attacking fullback in the early stages of the match. He will aggressively hunt the ball and has a tendency to step out of position so you're completely open if your left back is up the pitch. The beauty of PSG is you're not limited to playing in a certain style. There's pace, ridiculous finishing power, and if you need it, strikers who dominate in the air. With time finesse being nerfed, Cavani's immense aerial presence has taken on new levels of importance. Floated crosses, that's LB and B, or L1 and circle, are overpowered and will give him the perfect opportunity to outleap the nearest defender. Cavani's 88 rated jumping stat and intelligent positioning means he's incredibly hard to bully when a cross drifts in from either flank. If you're not finding space on the edge of the box, always remember this is a valuable route to goal. Be sure to keep an eye on the midfield battle during matches. If you're getting overrun through the centre, a switch to 4-1-2-1-2 narrow will shore things up. You have Draxler and Rabio on the bench if you don't fancy Di Maria in a deeper role. 
This change also allows Neymar to play as a central attacking midfielder, which is a smart way of bringing him into the match if he's being dominated from the wider position. Keep watching what the opposition is doing and don't be afraid to switch things up. Whether it's bringing on attacking fullbacks, tightening things in midfield or switching to fast build-up, be proactive if it's not working. A well-timed tweak can make all the difference.